हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल टेक्निक्स वेर वी आर नाउ डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स सो इन द लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी हैव कवर्ड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स राइट सो वॉट डू वी मीन बाई मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स टाइप्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स ट्री and then implementation of a combinational logic circuit using multiplexers okay so uh, having all these concepts let us now uh, today in this video lecture discuss about its counterpart that is demultiplexer which is dmux so this is dmux which is demultiplexer now why i am saying counterpart of multiplexer because the operation or function of demultiplexer is exactly opposite to the multiplexer so if you remember we had n is to 1 for mux right and here you can see now we have 1 is to n for dmux okay so let me just go through these points so that we can again understand the concepts so demultiplexer is also called as decoder okay about decoder we'll see more concepts in upcoming lectures now here it has only one input and many output okay so it is one input and many output one is to n with m select lines now if you remember in previous few lectures i said i discussed about select lines so one uh, so 2 is to 1 mux and 1 is to 2 mux will have same select line 1 right then 4 is to 1 mux and 1 is to 4 mux again will have same number of select lines that is 2 so it may be multiplexer or demultiplexer select lines are very important here okay performs reverse operation of multiplexer so that is why i said it is counter part of this multiplexer the demult receives one input and distributes over n output now we have one input coming and it is distributed over n number of outputs now this input should go to which output or said it another way this input should be routed to which output line that depends on this select line providing certain binary combinations to this select lines will route this input to specified output line okay so here you can see the block diagram of this demultiplexer block diagram where it has only one input an input here can be in terms of 0 and 1 right input then again it has an enable pin okay this there are uh, n number of outputs right okay so uh, you can term this not d0 because d0 is data here you can say y0 y1 y2 y because y we consider as output okay so this is not d0 this is y0 y1 y2 and y n minus 1 okay and these are all select lines select lines okay this is a block diagram and all these mux and dmux are again available in form of integrated circuit so if i am not wrong we have 74155 74154 this uh, ic is available for multiplexers and demultiplexers right so uh, you can just confirm these numbers that we have this multiplexers and demultiplexers available in the form of integrated circuit okay so here you can see okay let me make this y here you can see d in data and depending on this select line it can be routed to either of the output lines 
so this is the block diagram of demultiplexer now demultiplexers can be used as serial to parallel converter okay we have this serial data coming and then it is converted to a parallel data right multiplexer or up uh, acts opposite that is parallel to serial and demultiplexer acts as serial to series to parallel right now this demultiplexer can also be looking at this diagram it has single pole right and multiple way okay so it is called as single pole multiple way switch because it is simply switching okay so demultiplexer can also be called as single pole multiple way switch right so these these are some uh, uh, concepts few concepts about demultiplexer now types of demultiplexers again it is simply opposite to multi, uh, multiplexers okay so we have 1 is to 2 1 is to 4 1 is to 8 1 is to 16 and then we can go on right depends on application which demultiplexer you are using so it can go 1 is to 32 1 is to 64 1 is to 128 1 is to 256 1 is to 512 at very larger scale applications this type of demultiplexers can be used okay so as i said for uh, telecommunication telecommunication uh, at the this base station receiver the towers which you see at there this multiplexers and demultiplexers are used right so these are the concepts uh, basic concepts of demultiplexer let us see try to study uh, one by one these types of demultiplexers okay so let's see first one is to two demux now here we have one input and two outputs this one input is supposed to be routed at a particular instant of time okay either to this in output line or this output line right so it has one input and two outputs okay and according to the formula it should have only one select line because n equal to 2 raised to m so n is 2 okay so what should be the value of m is 1 what should be the value of uh, m is 1 so it has one select line this is again the block diagram of 1 is to 2 demultiplexer so we have d in data in again in terms of zeros and ones enable select line only one select line and output y0 y1 so now depending on the input to this select line this data can be routed either to y0 or to y1 right so uh, let's consider this truth table now here you can see if enable is 0 means this demultiplexer is completely off okay no matter what your data would be no matter what your select line input would be your output will always be zero because this is off okay if uh, enable is high then consider your data uh, to be now let us consider d in d in first can be considered as zero so if my d in is zero and select line is zero okay now when select line is 0 this y0 will be selected right y0 will be selected my y1 will be 0 and since my data is 0 i will get 0 at y0 right now what if my data is 1 if my d in is 1 and i am providing 0 to the select line y1 will uh, sorry y0 will be selected okay and the data will be routed to the y0 output line which is 1 because my data is 1 and here it is 
now again if my d in is 0 and my select line now instead of 0 I am providing 1 so my y1 will be selected and the data which is 0 will be routed to the y1 यहाँ पे मेरा डेटा जीरो है, तो आउटपुट को जीरो ही आएगा, ठीक है? अब y जीरो सिलेक्ट होगा, नहीं होगा, तो ये जीरो ही रहेगा। अब मेरा डेटा वन है, सिलेक्ट लाइन भी वन है, तो जो डेटा है, सिलेक्ट लाइन वन है, तो y वन सिलेक्ट होगा, तो डेटा यहाँ पे आएगा, यहाँ पे जीरो होगा। So said it uh, another way. Considering my data simply to be D in, so if my enable is 0, no matter what you provide here, output will be 0, right, and here it should be 1. Now if my select line is 0, my D in will be at Y0 and my Y1 will be 0. If my select line is 1, the D in will be routed at output line Y1 and Y0 will be 0, okay. So what is the equation here for y0, y0 the equation is, the equation here you can see this y0 because our output is getting at y0 in this line. So it is E d in s0 bar, okay and y1 equal to E d in s0. Okay, so these are the equations of output y1 and y0 because we, ha we have this 1 is to 2, so 2 outputs are necessary here. Now, if I want to design a circuit, now this is a block diagram. Now, if I want to see what is, uh, what we are having internal circuit for this block diagram for 1 is to 2 d max is, we can design with help of this uh, equation right so let us consider this as y0 and this is y1 right so it is e you can see here this is e then d in and s0 bar okay so this is s0 bar and this is and gate and gate okay then we have second equation about y1 which is e d in and s0 which is again ended right so you can see here in this block diagram we have two outputs y0 and y1 same is the circuit here this is y0 one output and y1 another output right so this is how uh, if a question is asked on explain about 1 is to 2 uh, d multiplexer then this block diagram either of this truth table and with this equation this circuit diagram is important okay so we have two and gates here right so here how many gates are being used one two and this not gate three gates we have used to design or implement one is to two demultiplexer okay i hope this is clear for you this type of demultiplexer is one is to four let us now try to understand one is to four where uh, number of input is one and number of output is four now how many select lines are required here so two select lines will be required s1 and s0 these two select lines will be required here so this is a block diagram you can see here for 1 is to 4 demultiplexer where we have one input as d in four outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 and these two select lines s0 and s1 okay so these are select lines now consider our data to be either 0 or 1 which is always the case now if my enable again 
here we have this enable if my enable is zero this complete circuit is off no matter what your d in s1 or s0 will be agar ye enable hi off hai to yahan pe kuch bhi rehne do aapka output zero hi aayega right theek hai to mujhe enable one chahiye so that this becomes on so it's not off now this becomes on okay so consider data to be 0 or 1 now if i provide here 0 0 this input will be routed to zeroth output data uh, sorry zeroth output line because 0 0 means this zero will be selected and this output will be routed to this zeroth uh, line so d in will appear at y y0 so you can see here other y1 y2 y3 will be zero and my d in will appear at y0 right now if i provide 0 1 to the select line 0 1 to the select line this first line will be selected and my uh, data input data will be routed at first line that is y1 of d multiplexer other all will be zero so this is zero 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 and d in will be at y1 now if i provide 1 0 right so if i provide 1 0 at this select line then this line will be selected and this d in will appear at y2 so you can see d in is at y2 other all are zero same is the case if i provide 1 1 to this select line then y3 will be selected or third line will be selected where we have output denoted as y3 so my d in will appear at y3 other all will be zero so from this we can write the equations for four outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 Now what is output of this y0 this equal to e because it is is e d in s1 bar s0 bar for y1 it is e d in s1 bar s0 because s0 is 1 here for y2 it is e d in s1 s0 bar right and for y3 it is e d in s1 s0 so these are the four output expressions right so just please please bear with all this disturbance uh, and the background so much of vehicle noise please bear this okay so these are the four equations output equations for uh, which we are will be using to design the circuit right so this this is again y0 y1 y2 y3 so i can simply design this so what is my y0 this is e then d in s1 bar now this is s1 and this is s1 bar s0 bar s0 bar okay and this is ended so this output is y0 then what is my y1 it is e then d in then s1 bar s1 bar and s0 this is again ended then my y2 is e d in s1 s0 bar this is again ended my y3 will be e d in s1 s0 this is again ended now we have this four 
outputs y1 y2 y3 now here here there is uh, you know a pitfall now uh, till this the circuit is perfect because we have only one input and four outputs for one is to four demultiplexer but but what happens is um, most of the students i have observed they then connect this to or gate this or gate which is absolutely wrong incorrect absolutely incorrect because demultiplexer will always have n number of outputs okay and here what you are give, uh, doing is connecting all these outputs to or gate here you are just providing one output which is not the case for demultiplexer right so this is the case for multiplexer not for demultiplexer just be uh, you know attentive while you are drawing this circuit for 1 is to n demultiplexer okay similarly you can try for another type 1 is to 8 and 1 is to 16 okay so you can just try for this circuit for 1 is to 8 and 1 is to 16 with all these concepts okay all right so in the next lecture we'll go for uh, this demultiplexer tree and implementation of combinational logic circuit using demultiplexer till then have a nice time thank you